Young and the Restless reveals that Phyllis was dealing with bad feelings. She couldn't sleep well every time she thought about Jeremy coming back to life and avenging her. Phyllis's mental breakdown, which can cause her to fall into a state of physical breakdown, Summer Newman tried everything to calm Phyllis's spirit, temporarily forgot about those bad memories, and must keep a calm attitude or everything would come out. Phyllis can't control her emotions now. She will admit to making a lot of mistakes and will stop Summer from calling Daniel before he might want to do the right thing. Now, only Summer and Daniel can reassure, helping Phyllis to calm down to overcome these troubles. Phyllis is frightened at the mention of Jeremy. Perhaps Phyllis has not yet confessed to Summer that she stabbed Phyllis herself. After Phyllis insists she can't go home, Summer will argue that whatever Phyllis does doesn't matter. Phyllis is still hesitant to tell the truth about the incident that caused Jeremy's death. Phyllis will admit that she thinks she has more time and will tell Summer the story of how she lost her love. Try to escape from the conspiracy to fake death. Jeremy threatened Phyllis with scissors to get her to recount how she fought back, wrapping the body in a shower curtain and acting as if one of the criminals had killed him. If Phyllis doesn't do that, then Phyllis will be the one to die at Jeremy's hands. She has no other choice. Phyllis will feel like she's sealed her fate, so she won't think that she can come back to her life in Genoa City again. Although Phyllis will profusely apologize for the pain she caused Summer and Daniel to go through, she will point out that she changed her mind and came back. Phyllis has gone too far when she puts personal feelings of resentment above all. Summer will realize Diana's innocent, however. She also dares to not say anything for fear of revealing the secret of Phyllis's survival. Currently, Diane also has a detention order for investigation. It has not been released. Phyllis will warn Summer not to tell any other soul about her survival or it will all be over for her. Summer will worry that if Phyllis leaves her now, she will never see her again. If Diane is vindicated, then Phyllis will be doomed, otherwise she will spend the rest of her life looking over her shoulder. Summer would certainly never betray her mother, but she feels sorry for Kyle and Diane for all the time they've been suspicious of her mother-in-law. Summer wouldn't like the idea of lying to the people she loves, so Phyllis would hate her putting her in the situation. Phyllis will insist that she needs a little time to figure out another plan that works. Michael is still poring over unofficial information for Jack Abbott from a coroner's contact. Based on the initial findings, Michael will admit that Stark's death appears to have been a homicide. Jack would act like this would help Diane's case, but Michael wouldn't be so sure. The shock would be a double-edged sword because Jeremy couldn't point his finger at Diane, but neither could he vindicate her. Jack can see the bad things beyond the plan to clear Diane seems very difficult. Jack will hint at this game-changing news, but Diane will continue to believe that people she loves are better off without her. Jack promises Diane that no matter what happens, he will not abandon her. Jack wants to marry Diane so she can trust him. Diane and Jack seem ready to take the leap together, so stay tuned for YNR. The YNR channel will have other great Young and the Restless revelations, updates, and news, so visit often.